Maccabeam Revi four Maccabees eighteen O Yisraeli children descendants of the seed of Avraham obey this Torah and in every way be observant knowing that observant reasoning is Lord of the passions and those not only inward but outward when those Persian rather persons giving up their bodies to pains for the sake of the belief were not only admired by men but were deemed worthy of a divine portion and the nation through them obtained peace and having renewed the observance of the Torah in their country drove the enemy out of the land and the tyrant Antiochus was both punished upon the earth and is punished now that he is dead for when he was quite unable to compel Yashadael to adopt foreign customs and to desert the manner of life of their fathers then departing from Yerushalayim he made war against the Persians and the righteous mother of the seven children spoke also as follows to her offspring I was a pure virgin and went not beyond my father's house but I took care of the built up rib no destroyer of the desert or ravisher of the plain injured me nor did the destructive deceitful snake make spoil of my chaste virginity and I remained with my man during the period of my prime and these my children having arrived at maturity their father died blessed was he for having sought out a life of fertility in children he was not grieved with the period of loss of children and he used Rather, and he used to teach you, when yet with you, the Torah and the prophets. He used to read to you the slaying of Havel by Karin, and the offering up of, rather, offering up of Yitzchak, and the imprison, imprisonment of Yosef. And he used to tell you of the zealous Pinachach and informed you of Hanan Yahu and Ezar Yahu and Mish'el in the fire. And he used to glorify Daniel, who was in the den of lions, and, pronou rather, and pronounce him blessed. And he used to put you in mind of the scripture of Yeshayahu, which says, Even if you pass through the fire, it shall not burn you. He chanted to you David, the hymn writer who says, Many are the afflictions of the just. He declared the Proverbs of Shaloma, who says, He is a tree of life to all those who do his will. He used to verify Yechezkeel, who said, Shall these dry bones live? For he did not forget the song which Moshe taught, proclaiming, I will kill, and I will make to live. This is our life and the length of our days. Oh, that bitter and yet not bitter day when the bitter tyrant of the ya Yavanim, quenching fire with fire in his cruel cauldrons, brought with boiling rage the seven sons of the daughter of Avraham to the catapult and to all his torments. He pierced the balls of their eyes and cut out their tongues and put them to death with varied tortures. Wherefore divine retribution pursued and will pursue the pestilent wretch. But the children of Avraham 
with their victorious mother are assembled together to the choir of their fathers, having received pure and immortal souls from Elohim. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen.